total surface area in that case means adding up the areas of all the surfaces. For a cube, that means adding up the surface area of all six faces. For a sphere, like a football, you want to know how much area the material used measured. Today, we'll begin with classifying our solids. Classifying 3D figures, which are solids. If you were, place, if you were to place these solids into two groups, what would these groups be? Great. If you said polyhedron and non-polyhedron, well done. Let's look at what a polyhedron is. Polyhedron is a solid with flat faces, which means each face is a polygon. Do you remember what polygons are? Your square, your rectangles. Those are samples of polygons. All right. So let's look at our groups. So we have our polyhedron groups, and you'd see those solids over there with polygon faces. And then you have your non-polyhedrons, your cylinder, your sphere, and your cone. Over here, you'd have your cuboid, your prism. Well, your cuboid is a, pris is a prism. And then you'd have your pyramid. Let's look at some nets of solids and see if you can tell me the solid that would come from each of these nets. So before we even look at the nets, let's see what a net is. A net shows what a 3D solid could look like if unfolded and laid out flat. So our first net is up. Can you name the 3D solid with this net? Did you say cube? Awesome job. What about this one? I'm sure you got it. Let's see what it is. Yes, it is a square base pyramid. Awesome. Now, as we said before, remember the net is, if you were to open up that solid and lay it out flat, that's what the net would represent. So let's look at the nets together again. So you have the net of the cube. As you can see, it's made up of squares. And you have the net of the square base pyramid, which would have a square and it would have the triangles, which would form that top of the of the solid. Then you have, I didn't give you this one. Can you tell me what that is? Great job. It's a cylinder. Anyone can tell me this one? Awesome, you guys are awesome. This is a triangular prism. So these are nets of four types of solids that we, are, we might be working with today. Let's explore. You, you are an engineer at an advertising agency. You're asked to determine how much fiberglass material we will, we'll, will be needed to cover a cuboidal frame sign for a client who specifies that all faces must be covered or must be used. Now let's look at this a little bit. So you're now asked to make, to use fiberglass to cover this frame. So you're out there in the world and you're awesome, you're an engineer, and you have this metal frame that you need to put ad some advertisement on. Now fiberglass comes in a fabric-like, um, what you call that, roll, that you'd use to stretch across this frame to now create your cuboidal awesome design. What would you think you'd need to do? What math concept would you be applying here? Yes, you would have to figure out the total surface area of that particular cuboidal frame in order to be a very good engineer in this instance. So let's look at our first cuboid or cube. 
and then let's look at this one. So what's, which one of the cuboid would you use to make this sign? Yes, I'd go with the cube. So let's look at the cube. What shape are the faces that make up this cuboid? So just before I forget, a cube is a special type of cuboid. Why is it special? All its faces are congruent. They're all the same. So all the faces of the cube are squares. So it is a cuboid, but it has faces that are identical in how they look. And that's why it's a special cuboid. So as I said before, all the faces of the cuboid are made up of squares. Please visit your doctor or the nearest health center and share your travel history. The flu and coronavirus can kill. Let's protect each other. A message from the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Reduce your risk of viral illnesses like the flu and coronavirus. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Cover your nose and mouth when coughing with a tissue and dispose of it. Avoid close contact with anyone with the cold or flu-like symptoms. If you become ill, please visit your doctor or the nearest health center and share your travel history. The flu and coronavirus can kill. Let's protect each other. A message from the Ministry of Health and Wellness. For the sick, before, during and after you prepare food, before eating, after toilet use, when hands are visibly dirty, and after handling animals or animal waste. 